Now D-U-Z does brings you the Goldbergs. You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap that does everything best. Well, look who's here. It's the Does Trio. Do you have a song for us today, boys? You bet. Yeah. Okay, wow. let's hear it. Oh, 25 soaps in a wash day test. Prove that does, does everything best. When the scores were added, what did they find? For whiteness, suds, and safety combined. Does, does everything best, oh yes. Does, does everything best. It's true, ladies. Does, does everything and does it best. We proved it in actual tests against 25 different wash day soaps. Flakes, powders, chips, very likely the soap you're using right now. All the soaps were tested for whitest washes, most suds for cleaning, together with greatest safety for colors, and listen. Only Does came out with a perfect score. Compared to Does, some soaps were weak on safety. Some couldn't make the grade on whiteness and suds. But Does does everything best. You know what that means to you? It means this new kind of soap can give you greater safety for the nice colors you wash. Actually leave them brighter. It means Does can get your towels whiter than soap after soap tested. Not one of them can do all Does does and still match it for whiteness. And when we tested to see which soap gets your tough work clothes clean with the least work, does scored tops again. See why this is such important wash day news? Just think, for whitest washes, most suds for cleaning, and greatest safety for colors combined, does tested best. Yes, does is a soap you want to try. Does is a soap you ought to buy. Does does everything best, oh yes. Does does everything best. And now does invite you to visit the Goldbergs. You know, it's supposed to be a proven fact that when people work at cross purposes, nothing is ever accomplished. Well, perhaps, but yesterday something happened at the Goldbergs that proves otherwise. What Molly did was only natural. Ever since Sammy and Dora had their engagement announced on the air, Molly, of course, was in something of a dilemma. Just who was going to make the wedding? Dora's mother? Mrs. Mayer or the Goldbergs. But the Mayers and the Goldbergs were not on speaking terms, and since Molly could get no satisfaction from Mrs. Mayer about the wedding plans, it was only natural that Molly begin her own. And so Molly called a reverend she always wanted for her son's wedding. But when she got the reverend, imagine Molly's surprise when she discovered he'd just been spoken for by Mrs. Mayer. This was one time when the cross purposes produced a good result. In fact, Molly is quite optimistic about the relations with the mayors now. How optimistic? Well, listen. Rosalie, yes, you, uh, you gave me the pencil? Oh, yeah. thank you very much, darling. Oy. Rosalie, come kiss mom. Come kiss mama, dear. Uh, uh, a million times kiss me. Well, dear, and the cheek, and that one, and this one, and come. No, no, darling. Oy. Who's happy, who? Who's you happy? are mine. Who's happy? When if Papa's getting ready, if we're going over to the mayor, so, so when are we going, darling? But, Ma, did Mrs. Mayor call you and ask you to come over? The, under the circumstances, I don't have to wait for an invitation, darling, because we know now, we know Mrs. Mayor is satisfied, we know Mrs. Mayor is not disapproving, and we know Mrs. Mayor is satisfied with the wedding, because she, she called Cantor Human, so she's making the wedding, so what does it mean, darling? Well, it means, well, it means of course, that she is making the wedding arrangements and everything. Jade, dear darling, ain't the sweetheart? You are shaving? I am. Are I you am. getting ready? I am, darling. I'm just making out my guest list, am, dear. Am I going to, Ma? Why shouldn't you come to the mayor's if I'm going? Rosalie, dear, uh, only bring me my flat. Are you yeah. going to walk to the mayor's? Why not? Why not? How far is it? Who, uh, who uses gasoline now if they can walk? Who uses gasoline, huh? It's just up the hill and over, not? Uh, Rosalie, darling, how do you, uh, how do you spell Zeisenschneer? Um... S-Z. Huh. Not with a Z. Zayden is a Z, no? no? I think it's S, Ma. S? Zayden Schneer. S, how? S-E-R. Not so fast. S-E-R. Zay. Zay is a Z, darling, because Zay is a Z if it's Zayden Schneer, Mama. I'm not sure. All right, S-I-E. 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 Zayden. D-E-N. Schneer. So I'll put Schneer. So let me. Schneer. All right. I got to copy it over when I'm making the invitations anyway. Side and schneer. Oh, Rosalie, Rosalie's family's getting married. 
Oh, is it true? I can't believe it. Not a short while ago, he was running around with short knickerbockers. And now, oh, time, 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 like road, it runs under the bridge in a way. You're growing up too, Rosalie, darling. And soon, 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 my two birds will fly away from their nest. Oh, Sammy's been away so much since the war. Ma, you oh, won't miss him so I know, much. darling, I know. Are you ready, Molly? If yes. We are going to the Myers, let's go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, darling. I'm going in a second. I'm just finishing my guest list. Who are you inviting to the wedding, Molly? All my essentials, dear. All my essentials. All my essential friends. Did you brought my flats, Rosalind? Here, Ma. Thank you. Well, very I'll much. help you, Ma. Uh, the, 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 just, just take off these and put them over there and put uh, on them. Uh, Sorry, are you darling. inviting Mrs. Bloom to the wedding, Ma? <laughs> Mrs. Bloom, I shouldn't invite. How many <laughs> are you inviting? Uh, I'll read off my list you here. Well, uh, how many, Ma? Wait a minute, I'll count. Mrs. Mendel, don't forget, Molly. I know, Mr. and Mrs. Mendel, I know, darling. Mr. Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot, Mr. and Mrs. Mendel. Mr. and Mrs. Mendel. So, here, darling, read me off now, huh? This is a big list, Ma. Not half as big if, if I was making the wedding and not Mrs. Mayer was making it. Check with a pencil, darling. I want to see if I forgot who. Check. Mr. and Mrs. Bloom. I hope Mrs. Mayer won't object to any of these people. Object? Why should she object? All these people are her friends also, not? Mrs. Bloom wasn't her neighbor and her friend also. And Mr. and Mrs. Rosen, the butcher, she didn't know them from 178th Street. And Mr. and Mrs. Selenboken and the Zeidenschneers. Why should Mrs. Mayer object? How can you tell? Are you ready, Molly? I'm ready, darling. I'm ready. I'm ready, darling. Rosalie, uh, fix my flats, oh, darling. all right. Jake, Rosalie thinks maybe Mrs. Mayer will object to my invited guests. If she objects, we'll make a separate wedding. Thank you, oh, Mr. Mr. Goldberg. Mayer. Fine. Thank you very much, there, Mr. Make yourselves Mayer. at home. There. Thank you very much. It's the Goldbergs, Devorah. The Goldbergs. Yeah. Uh, now, make yourselves at home. Uh, Thank uh, you very uh, much. Not that chair, Mrs. Goldberg. Uh, why not? <laughs> That's an antique. It's old and weak. Oh. <laughs> I must be an antique also. <laughs> I'm getting old and big too. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jake, I hope you're as happy as I am about the children. I'm very happy. How could I be otherwise? Is Mrs. Mayer happy? Rosalie? Why are you sitting in this room, Max? Why don't we go into the maple room? Oh, I thought the Goldbergs would find the mahogany room more restful. As you wish. Jake, you and I can go down into the Dutch kitchen. And we'll leave the girls to work out the details of the wedding arrangements. I prefer to remain, if you don't mind, Max. I have everything arranged, Max. This is my daughter's wedding, you know. And my semis. Uh, well, we have some mutual friends well, that... Well, why don't you check your guest list with Mrs. Mayer's list? My guest list is all completed. Well, uh, did you include Mr. and Mrs. Bloom? I did not. Why not? Uh, why not? Mrs. Bloom is a mutual friend. And if she wasn't mutual? But she is. I haven't got her on my list. Then you'll put her on your list. Jake, please. Don't jake me. Max, I knew this would happen. Uh, what would happen? I can't mix my guests. What do you mean, mix? If you want Mrs. Bloom, you'll have to invite her and have a separate reception for your friends. What are you trying to say, Mrs. Mayer? That your friends and our friends don't mix? That's exactly what I'm trying to say. I'll ask you for my hat, please, Mr. Mayor. Jake, Mr. please. Mr. Goldberg, please. Jake. Uh, you can stay, Molly. I'm leaving. Oh, Jake, no, please. Now, don't let's get everything spoiled. Oh, Jake. Mrs. Mayor, I, I don't know who your friends are, but I know who mine are. And I know everybody on my list was your friend also. If your memory is short, maybe... If I would enlighten you with a few reminders. I need no reminders. I think Hi. you do. Coming. Remember, Mrs. Mayer, not so long ago in the past. I'm not interested in the past. Maybe, but the past is something that you can't rub away, Mrs. Mayer. Memory might be short, but, but not the past. Mrs. Goldberg. Is a friend not a friend because you're no longer a neighbor, because you don't live next door and you can't ring a bell and ask for a pound of sugar or two eggs? Uh, remember when you had to go to the dispensary to be treated and Mrs. Bloom always used to ask you to come in for Molly. supper? I'm coming. And Mr. and Mrs. Eidenschneer, I also invited them, if I must remind you. You, you don't have to. Why not? Who helped you when uh, Mr. Mayer was out of work? Please. And Mr. Rosen, the butcher, he didn't give you credit when you needed credit. All these people, <laughs> were they your enemies? Uh, they, they didn't think of you, I mean, with, with, with kindness and understanding. They, they weren't happy for Dora's success. They, they wouldn't help you again if you needed it. That's what they'd like. What do you mean, that's what they like? Help me, but I don't need that help. Oh, but if you ever did, 
Isn't it a good feeling to know that someplace in this world there are a few people that would help you if you needed help? Huh, Mrs. Mayor? I'm talking. Do you think I could ever, I mean, ever forget the little things? Uh, why do I say little things? They were big. The things you did for me when, when you used to walk up three flights of stairs to bring Rosalie a little box of ice cream when she had her tonsils out. I loved Rosalie when she was a little girl. You loved me too? And I loved you. You remember how we used to sit on the stoop? Oh, you to be able to laugh like we used to laugh. They were happy days. Make these happy days too, Mrs. May. Deborah. Deborah. Call me Molly. <laughs> Molly. Molly. Deborah. <laughs> Shut up, Tell Papa to come back. Well, it seems the impossible has happened. Mrs. Mayer crying, asking Molly's forgiveness. Well, now, at the moment, anyway, things look fine and promising for Dora and Sammy. There's only one hitch, though. Just how long will this reconciliation last? Did Molly's words make a permanent impression on Mrs. Mayer? Or did they only go skin deep? Now, I always say, when you start something, finish it. Take the terrific news I've been telling you about, does. Tests against 25 different wash day soaps prove does does everything in your wash and does it best. Well, that's just the beginning, because listen, does does everything best in your dishpan, too. Oh, now hold on there, mister. You can't expect me to swallow that. But we proved it. None of the 25 wash day soaps tested could match all does does for dishes. Only does gives you this amazing combination. Suds that stand up till the last dish is done, fastest suds for cutting grease, along with greatest kindness to your hands. You sure about all that? Sure, I'm sure. Why, compared with soap after soap tested, does gives more suds faster. Suds that last, so you don't have to keep adding soap. Does goes to work on grease quicker, too. No hard scouring. Yet in tests for greatest kindness to hands, does scored tops again. It leaves your hands wonderfully smooth. You see, in the dishpan, too. Does does, does everything, everything best. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs, written for you by Gertrude Berg and brought to you by D.U.Z. Does. Sammy and Dora, returning on the train, get quite a surprise two stations from home. This is Clayton Collier saying good day for the makers of Does, the soap that does everything best. When you do your dishes, do your country a good turn. Don't waste soap. Soap contains war materials. In wartime, fight waste.